It has been said that once you face your deepest fear, that which you fear shrinks and vanishes, giving you the freedom you long for. We all have at least one fear story. Back when I was 11 or 12 years old, I had the opportunity to visit some friends and go to the local pool. I found I was held hostage by one thing, the dreaded high dive. I can't tell you how many times I longed to be like the other kids, climbing up that mile-high ladder, walking confidently to the edge, pausing to survey the water below, and then without flinching, stepping out into the nothingness. Too many times my fear of heights held me back. And finally, one day, I decided that no matter what, I was going to jump off the high Striding the length of the pool, I told myself that I was ready. As I got closer to the ladder, my I think I can went to I know I can. A strange combination of anticipation and dread fueled me as I began my ascent. And so gripping the rails, keeping my eyes heavenward, I marched step over step. I will do this. I can't do this. Finally, I found myself at the top of the aquatic hill. And taking a deep breath, I made my way toward the end of the platform, and with each step, a deep sense of aloneness surrounded me as the noise of the pool and the other swimmers faded and vanished. Deliberately, I took my last steps, until at last I reached the end of the platform. I had made it. As my toes gripped the edge of no return, I found myself thinking, well, what was I thinking? Dread and fear grew within me as I realized that I couldn't spend my whole life at the end of this platform. Or could I? All of a sudden, I became keenly aware that I was not alone. The sounds of unrest and impatience were coming from the long line of would-be divers behind me. All eyes were on me. I had to do something. And I had two choices. Go back down the ladder. Or take the plunge. You know, it's been said that once you face your deepest fear, that which you fear shrinks and vanishes, giving you the freedom you've offered.